Welcome to Dyson Sphere program. My name is Nilaus, and today we're going to continue our quest for the master classes for starter sciences. So we did blue science, we did red science, and now obviously it's time for our, us to do some yellow science. Let's start with just having a look at the yellow science, and uh, then we're going to be talking about oh hello oil goodbye oil uh, we're going to talk about what this requires so this requires diamonds and it requires some titanium crystal T diamonds are super easy it's just taking some graphite that you'll probably have plenty of and then smash it together and you get the diamonds the other thing is uh, titanium crystal which is more complicated because it needs titanium which you should have on your second planet we are still sort of even though i'm building this in late game i'm building it as if we are at the point where you have completed your blue and red science and now you're working on your yellow science so that's where we're going to be that's the tech level we are assuming here now this is a uh, you can see here this titanium you will have that on a second planet that you can bring home in just a big batch and then you should be good until you have the yellow science which will enable you to research interstellar logistics and then automate that part as well now the big part here is the the where is it it is the titanium crystal which requires organic crystal there are three ways to get organic crystals. The easiest and best way is to just mine it out from a rare resources on a faraway planet. That is not an option at this tech level, so we're going to skip that. The third option, yeah, third option is the one at the bottom here, is uh, mining some trees or chopping down some trees, uh, scrubbing some bushes and uh, smushing it together to make some organic crystals or just mining... Uh, trees and then you will find some organic crystals that's fine for the first couple of hundred but then you need to scale up and automate because this is a game about automation so that leaves the only option the second option which is the first option in this overlay requiring plastic light oil and water and that's the one we're going to do now our objective is to do two red si yellow signs per second and that means we need two organic crystals per second so that will be the first objective for us to build is two yellow signs per second no, two organic crystal per second. What we need to do to get that is we will be requesting things. This is a red blue science, so you will have this available. I will be requesting some crude oil and I will be requesting some graphite for a bit later. We're going to do that, but I'm not going to set it up for requests just yet. Let's, uh, we are going to use the conveyor belt Mark II and we are going to use the Sorters Mark III because they are at the same tech level. They require the electromagnetic turbines or green engines as they are commonly called, but uh, and those should be available. So let's start by making a little build. There we go. That will be uh, here and we are going to start by mining this. And let's see, I'm gonna set it over here so not to get too close there this will be plasma refining which gives us some hydrogen that we can't use for anything and it gives us some light oil which is the whole point it'll give us one light oil every two seconds on average now i'm going to take the hydrogen and simply just uh, send it back because i have no need of it in this design so i am going to put it into a box and then just put it back in here to be picked up by somewhere some somehow then i'm going to build this the other way that one and that will be our light oil i am going to build that one here we're going to have another one and i am going to get some more light oil inbound on the side now there's a reason why i build it like this inbound and hydrogen out here light oil out there hydrogen here and light oil there now that is going to be this is going to give us one oil per second, but we can actually make it bigger. We should make it bigger, which is what we do here. And this will be somewhat the same build in. And the light oil as well. That should be out here. Oh, I forgot something on this one. Actually taking it in. And we are going to build this one as well. Now remember in this case, it is from this one, light oil, uh, hydrogen out, light oil. Hydrogen, light oil, and inbound. So this design, let's see if we can do a blueprint of this. Uh, is it like this? Maybe it is. Nope, it's not. Try again. There. 
So this will produce two oil per second, four, six, eight, ten. That's what we need. This is also how you can use blueprints in a rather convenient way. And like you do in Factorio if you are playing that game. And if you're not, why? There. Alright, so let's get some power bolts on this. They should be here and here. Here and here. And over on this side as well. There. So what we have now is 10 oil coming in per second and 10 light oil coming out this side and we get five hydrogen that we'll just scrub and get rid of now let's make sure that we get the one that is actually getting it and that is this is the hyd that one I'm calling it hydrogen but that's the light oil this is the light oil I'm going to trim these here trim 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 and trim and we are now in an unfortunate position that night has fallen so i am going to take a short break uh, just take a little nap while uh, we wait through the night and then we'll be back once uh, dawn breaks as dawn is here we can now continue so what we are going to do here is we are going to continue into plastic now if i need we're going to chase this one here if i need two Two organic crystals per second, then I need four plastic per second. If plastic is over here. Plastic is on a three second cycle, so I need 12 of these to get the two seconds, two per second. And let's get that. I will build it. Actually, we are going to have one more thing that we need to take care of, and that is from over here, we need to take the graphite. The graphite is going to be essential because we actually need the graphite for our plastic. So that's also going to be in part of the plastic production. There we go. Become part of plastic production. And now I have two of the ingredients for the plastic. Well, the only two ingredients that I actually need. And I can... I mean, this one really could be built a bit closer, couldn't it? Yeah, it could. There's no reason to waste space here. There. And that one. Let's build it here, 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 and we're also going to have an output. So that's going to be on this belt. We are going to have the output. That will be the plastic output, and this will be the plastic output. And then we just set up the recipes. That's going to be plastic. Copy it to the other ones. And let's deal with the inputs and outputs from this one. Let's start with input, input output input input output check that out over on the side we are going to have input input output input input output it's like the good old days isn't it and then we're going to be building this oh we need 12 of these so i need one two that one There, we just tap it so that it's not too close. And then it's about building the power lines. They will be exactly where the other ones are. And there and there. Sweet. Now, what do we have here? We have four plastic per second. Two up here, two up here. That means on this belt, I will have, uh, since this is producing four plastic, it's also consuming eight of the light oil. And I am producing 10 light oil. That means five on this row, five. Four of them get consumed. There's going to be one remaining. And that fits just perfectly with. And I don't really like this, do I? Yeah. One, two, three. I want to get the same location here, the same distance. And this will then be changed to our organic crystal. And I already have the light oil that's flowing through. I have the plastic flowing through. And then I just need one more. So this is going to be great. One, two, three. And on the other side, I'm going to have the inputs like that. And also from this one, like that. One, two, three. One, two, three. There. Oops. Forgot that. One, two, three. There. And then this one will also work. 
at the same rate. These will go out, continue to this location. Actually not at the end. And uh, the organic crystal actually has three inputs, which is what we see here. The water is coming in opposite because, well, you know, water is easy to get. And then we'll get on the outside belt from here. This will be the output. That's going to be an output. I'll keep an output in the middle and I will get the last output on the outside. So now it's just a matter of making sure that we get the power thing here. It's going to be input, 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 and then from the other side, input, input, and input. This will be there, and this one will be not the same because then I can actually do that will correspond and that will correspond here, here, that one. And that's actually going to be exactly what we need. I will get that one and, oops, where are they? Here. Will it work? It'll barely work to get that one, to keep that one uh, powered. Very, very barely, but it will, for now at least. And what do we need? then need to do? The last thing we need to do is actually just get some water in. The water is going to be something. Oh, that's not it because we don't have those yet, but we do have the smaller one, the planetary Districts. This one will be requesting water and it will be absorbing or whatever it's called. So, the organic crystals, the organic crystals here and the organic crystals go in. And I am going to get water out and here I'm going to get water out. And I will need to get this one be powered as well. Here, this one. Now it is time for us to start getting things in. There we go. And over on the other side here, we will get the other things in here. I think that's too high. And get some of these in here. And that will be demand, demand. And we will be providing the hydrogen back out because that's our waste product. Now what we need to wait for is just things coming in. You can see the water is already coming in here, filling up. You can set these as much as you like. I'm just setting to 5,000 because, well, I'm bored and that will be... Great. I could set it here, but there's really no need for it. Uh, we have plenty of what we need, so let's just get it in here. What we're then going to see here is that hopefully it all works. Yep, I just couldn't see anything on this belt. Here we got all the light oil coming in. We got the graphite coming in. It's just flowing down this belt. The graphite uh, light oil is being picked up by the plastic production and that will go in and you can see over here the white ones and white ones. There is the plastic coming down. You will not see any of the light oil passing beyond these yet because they are just going to be focused on filling up their own internal buffers. You can see here this is filled up to 10 and this one will be filled up shortly. There we go. Now it's working and then we get the very, very first one coming in. <clears throat> That will be what we need. Oh, uh, that one is not placed correctly. It will need to be all the way up there and then it should work. It just catches that one perfect. Let's see. It's shell bound and in the meantime, we can just remove these uh, excess belts. There, they will not be in the blueprint. And speaking of blueprints, now because you are at the tech level that we are here, this is the one that I can expect that you have completed at this point, 600 facilities. That means I am going to present to you the blueprint for this. It is called Starter Yellow Science. It will consist of two blueprints, one for the first half that takes the care of the refinery, one for the second half taking care of the plastic and organic crystals down there. And that will be just going down here and we should now be seeing that we got the very first bits of organic crystal now we're going to what we're going to do now is uh, wait for dawn and then as dawn breaks we are going to build the next part the next part being using the organic crystals to actually make the yellow science cubes and now with dawn here we can continue on the next part the next part being uh, rather simple comparatively at least we are going to start from here and this is where we will simply be making the stuff we need for the yellow science the yellow science being uh, we can't use this, but we can use the subcomponents. We got that. That's the one we just built. We can also use titanium that we will be getting from another planet. And we have then the graphite that we can then go in here. There we go. That will be what we need. 
Let's uh, have a look at how I want to build it. So I am going to uh, use these things here. They are Mark II. You will have them at this locate at this uh, tech level. Whoops, that is definitely not what we wanted to make. We want to make it here. And this is on a four second cycle. And this is luckily producing at speed one. So we need four of these. That's one per second. And then I'm going to take another four of those. And that will be four more per second. So this, uh, no, sorry, that's two per second now. And we're going to get outbound from here. This will be the titanium going in. And on this side, it'll be the organic crystals going in. And on the outside, we'll have something going out. And on the outside, we'll have something going out. And I'm going to imagine that that's where we want it outbound. We are going to hit this one up. It's just simply in, 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 out, out, and just remove these excess ones and copy down, copy down and that'll be right in the middle because then it'll also be uh, aligned with everything else uh, except that it's not really getting the power right now but that's okay we'll just put one in here. So the next one we want to make is also on this side this will be the diamonds Diamonds are ridiculously easy compared to uh, what you'd think. If you look at this, we're just going to set the diamonds here. That takes one per two seconds. So two of these is one per second and four of those is actually, well, two per, the two per second that we need. So just, I mean, just looking at this, go, really? Is that, is that really, is that it? And it is. No big designs or anything, just that one. And then it's time for us to build this part. I'm going to bring that out and I'm going to bring that out as well. And this will be the yellow signs. We got that here. That's going to be inbound, inbound and on the other side and outbound. And I will do, be taking this one, two, three. And get a power pole, get a power pole and build this two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. Two, three, four. That is where we are. And I'll bring you back in. And what only thing we then have at the end of this is, well, this is what, how I would do it at least. I would simply build a location for sending this one off. Oops, power, power, get some of that in. And also get some, we can't build it like that, but then we don't have Whatever. We'll do that. Nope, we won't. We'll build it out here. There we go. That's coming in. And now I just want to hook it up so we can see that it is actually working. Over on this side, I'll build the one at the back. That's always a good place to build it. And here we go. Supplies, 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 supplies. And it's coming in. Funny how this is not coming in. Oh, big size. I'm just going to check why that's not coming in. Right, it's coming in now. Just uh, missing some drones. And what we should be seeing here is that all this is coming in. This is the one that the stuff that we've been building in advance. And we should be getting all of it. You can see the titanium is coming in now. We're getting the titanium in. Build for all of these. None of this is particularly fast, so it's easily able to catch up with all of it. And it is nighttime, but that's actually a good thing because the yellow science looks absolutely amazing during nighttime with a random planet in the background. So we should see the whole thing here working, and let's see that it fills at up at the right pace. This is just producing at 2 per second, this is also producing at 2 per second, and all of this will eventually come to at 2 per second. But remember, this one will have to fill up for full buffer in here before it gets up and then it passes on to the next one. So it just takes some time to do to get this flowing. And in the meantime, I can say that this is basically wrapping up this blueprint, I've uh, this design. I'm going to provide the blueprints. They are in the link in the description below so that you can that link brings you to my website with all of my uh, blueprints for Dyson Sphere program. So you can roam there and find something that you like. And maybe there's another masterclass or tutorial or something like that you missed and you can find the blueprints from that. And of course, also check that out on the 
uh, on here on my YouTube. So if you've enjoyed it, hit the like button. And of course, if you want to see more Dyson Sphere program, uh, either tutorials, let's plays, guides, masterclasses, whatever, then uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys uh, in the next episode, either of here or maybe even on Twitch where I live stream this game. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care and stay effective.